like to thank my mother and father without whose um, sense of balance. I never <laughs> well, and don't forget your sister, who just happens to have a turn left. Hold this. Yes. Uh, oh, come on, Rudolph. When have you ever beaten Kristen in anything? Yeah. Yeah. I'm reminded why you're the Sandman, Sandman. You're so boring, you just naturally put people to sleep. Oh, of course you should have your turn. Oh, isn't that just like my baby sister? Always fair, always perfect. Okay, down. Down. And Yes, <laughs> I did it, I won, thank you. Oh, Rudolfa. Yes. You don't win if you cheat. You know? <gasps> Tundra, what are you doing in there? Go. Santa's not here yet. Oh, worse every year. I'll go hurry him up. Santa. Yes, dear. Here I am. Aren't you gonna get dressed, Dad? Did you see this? Oh, that's terrible. Hmm? But it's nothing. There have always been the one or two who don't like Christmas. Mm -hmm. Scrooge. And, and Attila the Hun. The mood doesn't seem right this year. Your Santa, you are the mood. <sighs> Maybe I'm just getting too old. You're immortal, you are old. <laughs> I mean that in a good kind of way. Like a wise old saying. Always right, always true. Here are your woolies. <laughs> Please, get ready. It's time for the list. I'll be right down. Hurry. A few of the elves have had a little too much dragon mist. <laughs> Everything is gonna be fine, Dad. Mm -hmm. Christmas is coming. Christmas clock to mark the time till Christmas comes. Hello and welcome. Uh, the Christmas season traditionally begins as it has throughout the years with the running of the list. It is the deserving who receive. They are the ones who remain on the list and find their gifts on Christmas morning. <laughs> Every year we see who's been naughty, and who's been nice, because everyone is on the list to begin with, and it's up to every person to remain on the list or not. Huh? So, proceed. Stop. I felt this coming. Um, I've known the mortal world was growing more and more selfish. But goodness always outweighs badness. 
It seems the balance is tipped in the wrong direction. Well, what's true is true, Santa. The other day, a child stole his grandpa's dentures, put them under his pillow, and wrote me a note saying he wanted $500 for the set. People don't care about goodness. They don't care about caring. It's only about the presents. I say forget it. I'm not going. <laughs> Jingle bell, Santa smells. Can't get into the sleigh. Dad, wait! Huh? You can't do this! This has been coming for a long time. You are getting on, Father. Don't push it, Rodolfo. Oh, no, I mean that uh, you just might need a vacation. Vacation? Christmas is coming. Santa can't take a vacation for Christmas. What about all those children who deserve their presents? Well, maybe we just need a different approach. A different approach to Christmas? Well, why not? Because it's Christmas. It works fine. Really? Is that right, Father? She's got a point, Kristen. You can't mean that. You're Santa Claus. Well, you know, I guess it is time for someone else to step in. And <laughs> well, I was going to take over sooner or later anyway. After all, I am the eldest, right, Father? Dad? No, wait, Dad. There must be some way for you to give this one more chance. What would it take? Hope. Hope that people can change. Okay, good. What if I could make a family's name who's been crossed off the list reappear as it was, before Christmas Eve? Then you'd have hope again, right? It would prove they changed and deserved Christmas. Please. These mortals are a disaster. I mean, they're not immortal like we are, so they're desperate. Greedy and grasping until their time runs out. That's not true. If it were, no one would be on the list. Well, pretty soon there might not be. Stop. I'll give you a chance, Kristen. At what name did the list stop? Morgans. If you can change them, there's hope for everyone. Yes! <laughs> but bear in mind, once a name has been crossed off the list, it's very nearly impossible to get it back on. I've got an early meeting with Harley, okay? I'm probably gonna be home late, so Britt, be good. Kyle, be good. Santa. Fat face, bad clothes, won't shave. What loser got dipped in sugar and dreamed him up? We'll be there. Red Rock? Red Rock, honey. <laughs> when? <laughs> December 24th, their place in Seattle. That's Christmas Eve day. So what? That's when they want to see our presentation. That's when we go. I mean, we get this account. It's the big time. Oh, we have to be brilliant. <laughs> What's going on? Get away from me! Charlene, where are you going? Away! I'm going away! No, 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 you can't do that. The kids need you. They need their au pair. They've been in my drawers. They put peanut butter in my underwear. It's the last, absolute, final straw. I'm sure she says it's peanut butter. Away! I'm going away! Red Rock. I would put Morgan Jenkins' media on the map, <laughs> finally. And then maybe you and I can get on the map, finally. Maybe it's time you talk to your kids about us. Jingle bells, wedding bells. I would make an incredible Christmas present. We don't need no pair, Uncle Johnny. We have me. Well, better get you guys to school. 
We'll tell your father about it later. Maybe we shouldn't tell him at all, huh? You know, Tooth Fairy, I thought I remembered their letter. The Morgans, Kyle and Brittany. They sent a letter five years ago. She was five and he was seven. Oh, I remember those kids. They wanted 10 bucks a tooth. Dear Santa, I'd like an Angie Hollywood doll, and my brother wants a basketball. And we need a new clock, because the one we have doesn't seem to give my mom and dad any time for themselves. And that's what they keep saying they need. So maybe a new clock for them. We're making a lot of cookies for you. Merry Christmas, Brittany and Kyle Morgan. That was the last time they wrote. So what are you going to do? Pay them a visit. The true spirit of Christmas is irresistible, especially at full strength. What is it? I don't know what you're saying. Kyle, what happened? Put permaglue on your whistle? You didn't eat the lunch I packed you. That's because, like I've said a million times, I buy my lunch on 13. But the lunch here is terrible. Pizza's every vitamin ever made. Oh, yeah, like it. This time you've done it, Kyle. We have to take some serious action. What are you talking about? This is my brother. He hasn't done anything. It's suspension this time. Really? You suspend him. I'm not going to be volunteering in the library anymore. I'm not gonna manage the bake sale. And I'm not gonna sign any more of the kids' report cards because their own mothers won't. training spot. <laughs> uh, you know, jumping, dancing. Next, Hollywood. <laughs> they have talking mice, talking dogs. It's the next thing. Talking lizard. Has to happen. Okay, you know, just, just forget I asked because I don't want to know. I don't want to know, do I, Kyle? Don't want to know, do I, Brittany? But you see, I do know. Because the school called. And I know that the two of you managed to get yourselves suspended indefinitely. And I know that doesn't make me very happy. Where's Charlene? She's, uh... She quit, just like all the others. Okay. Boys, girls, weird uncles. Some things have got to change around here. I am facing the biggest presentation since I started this company, and I don't have time for my two children to get suspended from school! Dad, it's not healthy for you to get so excited. Brittany, it's not healthy for a girl of 10 to act as if she's 30. It's not our fault, Dad. Oh, Kyle, yes. Yes, it was. I want you all to get this place cleaned up, go upstairs to your rooms, and stay there until the Beatles get back together. In the meantime, I'm going to call the au pair service. <laughs> I'm going to ask them why exactly they haven't replaced Charlene because I pay him to keep him coming. I'm the only guy in town with an au pair service on retainer, which just might be the smartest thing I've ever done in my life. Hi. Brittany. May I help you? Uh, May I come in? You're the new au pair? I'm here to help. You must be Kyle. And your bill? Me? No, 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 no. Uh, I'm Johnny. Uh, uh, Jonathan Smaller, actually. Uh, Johnny! Uh, uncle. Why didn't uh, you actually. tell me Charlene quit before? Now the agency's closed. I don't... And on top of it, Bill, uh, that's why... Uh... Kristen. That's why Kristen is here. Good. G great, great. Um, hi, it's... Uh, it's nice to meet you. Um, I'm very sorry to leave you with such a mess on your first day. I gotta go back to the office. Do you have a bag? Bag? Luggage? Oh, of course. Yes, I'm staying. Here. 
Here it is. Okay, well, um, I'll be home later. Uh, Brittany will give you the tour, and uh, you two behave. Hurricane Charlene. I've um, got to do my homework. Johnny, you're not a good influence on the kids. Well, I try to be, Bill. Johnny, what you do is not called trying. Trying has to do with implying effort, and you... <sighs> Look, buddy, you've been with us for 15 years, you know? Maybe it's time to get your own place, get a job. Please, please, Bill. Have, have you no heart? Huh? Oh, bad news, Bill. You have no heart. <laughs> well, you'll see. I'll make the kids behave. Give me one more chance. All right, all right. One more chance. Thank you. And this time, I'm, I'll make you happy you gave me one more chance. It won't be like the other times that you gave me one more chance. Thank you so much for reminding me of that. And see a doctor about that heart. I think he's serious this time. It's just for you. Uh, uh, your personal sleigh. It's got twin ozone burners and crystal shields. She'll and never extra turn cubbies. more. It's your favorite lack of color, yes. black. My time is nigh. <laughs> Good job. Okay, here's the plan. We go with the permaglue list for starters. Number one, we glue her shoes to the floor of the closet. Yeah, we've got to make her understand that we don't want her here. Dinner, everyone! Hey, what is this? Show off. Whoa. Do you expect your father soon? Oh, no. He's never home for dinner. Working at the office. Well, let's eat, shall we? Don't you think this is a little much? It's just a nice Christmas dinner. It's not even Christmas yet. For what we are about to receive, and to all of those who are watching over us, may we be truly thankful. You know, we're missing something. Missing something? What? Ketchup in a bowl with a spoon. I'll be happy to get that for you. Don't do it. Since when did you tell me don't? Since, since your father and I had a little talk in about the About what? Well, about, uh, uh, about you two. He said, uh, well, n not said, warned. Won't be a moment. Take your time. That if you guys don't behave, including and especially treating this au pair with kindness and manners and courtesy, that you guys won't even get one present this year for Christmas. Nothing. Probably dock your allowances. Probably mine, too. I'm supposed to get the MB and Nintendo and that extreme skateboard. I'm supposed to get the Everwear kit, including the 8-inch omelet pad. Well, it's up to you guys. That's his plan. Wasn't supposed to tell you. Here you are. Thank you very much. Kyle, you are so very, very welcome. I know people who believe we should act like it's Christmas every day. Have peace and joy and 
Be happy to give what we have to give. I'm sure they didn't mean it. Oh. Oh, yeah. We're sorry. Definitely. Very sorry, Dad. Won't happen again. No way. Well, we, we should go read so we're not behind when we get to go back to school. Yeah, can't wait. Okay, well, there's something I thought I'd never hear Kyle say. Yeah, well, I guess they're really changing. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> looks like you got away with them. I know there's been some problems, but I believe they're really good kids. Yeah, you know, it's, um, it's been difficult, but we will come around. Never lose hope. I, um, gotta get to work. You certainly have a lot of toys. Dad's always giving us stuff. Usually the au pair cleans the room. But we're supposed to. I always tell him to. And he won't. Well, you don't want Santa coming into a messy house, do you? Santa? Of course. Santa. Show him your best. Do you still play with this, Kyle? No, that's for little kids. Why do you still have it? Because it's mine. I was just thinking that there's lots of kids who would probably want a toy like this. And if you're not using it, you might consider giving it to somebody else. No. Santa would think it's cool to give that stuff away? I'm sure. I have a ton of stuff that I haven't played with in years and years. Do you write to Santa at Christmas? Oh, I used to. But... I stopped 
because he wouldn't answer, and I grew out of it. Besides, there's no Santa anyway. He used to make me feel close to my mom. She loved Christmas. Maybe Santa would answer if you kept trying. He tries very hard to give to those who deserve. These would have gone to Santa's mail room. I happen to know somebody who works there. Kyle says the post office just puts them in a bag and throws them out. Brittany, letters sent from people that should get to Santa always get to Santa. I've got to get this recipe. This is great. You do this every night? Sharing the best we have is all part of Christmas. Guess that explains why Santa's got that gut, huh? <laughs> Must eat like that all the time. <laughs> it's his metabolism. And he does like cookies and milk. I mean, really, he won't stop. Cookies and milk, milk and cookies. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me get some more vegetables. She's got like a Christmas disease. Hello, everybody. You're home early. We didn't do anything. Who said you did? Hi. Honey, you forgot this in the car. <laughs> Hi, Kristen. Uh, this is Harley Jenkins. It's my business partner. This is, this is Kristen. She's our new au pair. Oh, it's wonderful to meet you. Uh, please, uh, sit down. We've only just begun. OK. like another Christmas dinner. Kristen says every day should be like Christmas. Oh, what a lovely thought. But when would people work? What I meant was that people should be generous in giving every day, not just on Christmas. Yeah, I guess everybody would get pretty tired of getting presents every day anyway. Worth a try, though, huh, Dad? <laughs> Actually, uh, we have a little announcement to make. Harley Jenkins. Oh, 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 yes. Well, yes, I did send it. Yeah. Bill, was there something you wanted to tell us? Uh. No. No, there wasn't. Bill, I have to go back to the office. Uh, the spreadsheets didn't get to Ling. What time is it there? Oh. you later. Here's one. We have an au pair who thinks she's Santa Claus. Christmas everything all the time. Hey, Kyle. Man, I've not seen this room so picked up and I don't know. Oh, there's carpet in here. Yeah, Kristen likes things neat. You know, for Santa? For Santa. Okay. Whoa. Hey, looks good. It's disgusting. Her name is Kristen. <laughs> uh, this is going to be fun. Uh oh. This might be the same woman we've had complaints about before. You could be in danger. She's Christmas crazy. If she tells you you should give away your old toys, that's the first sign. Pretty soon, she'll want you to give away everything you have. All in the name of Christmas. Ask her one question. What is your last name? If she answers Claus, get rid of her. This could be serious. Mm, this website is one of my best ideas ever.
What do you think? Oh, I didn't mean to wake you. It's okay. I want to know your opinion. I think they're beautiful. Eye-catching. Clever. I'm very glad I asked. Hey. Let me, um, let me show you how they work. This is called definition relation. Triumph starts with try. We relate triumph with, with Red Rock. Triumph starts with try. I love that. And this one. See, Red Rock for the enduring family. The, the family endures, the clothes endure. You should be very proud of what you created. You know, I, I used to work in this huge company. I was a vice president, and I thought, that's what I want. And then, uh, then Jane died. And none of that really mattered anymore. And then a few, a few years ago, Harley asked me to partner with her in this company, and it was a struggle. I mean, we started out, we had two coffee cups and a paper clip. But we're doing okay now. And then with Red Rock, you know, we could really achieve something. I hope you get what you want. Night. our mom this year so could you find her and make her our gift at Christmas you don't have to wrap her or anything just put her under the tree and we'll find her and she could make her special pancakes like she used to so how are they going good very good, actually. The whole North Pole can't wait to see what happens. Morgans aren't back on the list? No. Well, since I got here, they've been behaving fine. Maybe their names being off the list was a mistake. Well, they can't get back on the list unless there's real hope in their heart for change. And so far, they're not on the list. What does that tell you? Well, I'm planning a lot of Christmassy things tomorrow. I don't know, maybe that'll make them remember what Christmas was like before they lost their mom. Well, Rodolfo, she's betting that you won't make it. I've never failed. You know, the mortals are interesting. Mm, not the ones I see. Those little boys just drooling on their pillows, oh, please. They want so much, and they work so hard. All they want is money. No, they want to make themselves better. They're striving to do better. And with the North Pole, everything is always magical and wonderful. It's so easy. No, we never say, I can do better. I can be better. Never feel loss. Never struggle. Change. Well, something's going to change if the Morgans don't get back on that list. And that's not going to be as easy as you think it is. I won't fail. It's going to be like pulling teeth. <laughs> This is Christmas, giving. Doesn't it feel good? I thought we could find a lot more of your toys to give away. Thank you. Whoa. 
That's it, Johnny. I've never had a teacher like you before. <laughs> hey, oh, sorry. You didn't have to do that. Are you kidding? That was the first bad thing I've done in days. I was getting shakes. Anyway, if she's who the website says she is, she has to go in quick. But it's okay. I've got the plan to get rid of her, and Dad can't blame us at all. What is it? Just follow me. You did really well. Just keep practicing in the next Thanks. time. I was just wondering. <laughs> here you are, au pair and everything, and you don't know your last name. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Claus. As in Santa Claus? Exactly. Hey, I didn't know they had a Christmas tree lot here. You guys don't have a tree at home yet. Why don't we get one? Get a Christmas tree? Of course, it's Christmas. <laughs> Come on. Now, this happens to be one of my specialties. How did I know? Never thought I'd say it. But it's nice having another woman in the house. Share the burden. There's at least 10 listings here for the name Claus. Doesn't mean anything. I'm telling you. Hello, everybody. I'm home. What is this? It's a Christmas tree. Everybody knows we don't allow a Christmas tree on Christmas. Is there a better time to have one? There's never a better time to have one here. May I ask why? You may not ask why, so don't. Johnny, get this thing out of here. Bill, Jane's been gone a long time. It's <laughs> great. You see what you've done? I'm so sorry. All right, look, I just want everybody to go to their rooms, okay? Now. Everybody. been five years. She was my sister. She was your wife. We all loved her, but we have to move on. You think she wouldn't want us to have a tree? So when Kristen suggested it, I thought it was a good idea. Now, here's a good idea. Get a job. I'm in the same business as you, advertising. Johnny, selling space to whoever on your car is not being in advertising. Look, Johnny, after the holidays, I, I, I want you out. Kristen, um, 
I I shouldn't have. Uh, I, look, Christmas is was a very special time for all of us, you know, when Jane was alive. And the tree, that was her. That was her thing. And so when she died, I just decided, well, we're just not going to have one anymore. And I don't know why. Look, the point is I. Kristen? Something wrong, Miss Perfect? Don't tell me. I was right about the mortals. What's this? Well, what does it look like? It's my new sleigh. It's all ready for a test run, Rodolfo, dear. Your sleigh? It's going to be the new and improved Christmas. It's about time the whole thing was oh, so old. It's time for Christmas to get on to the next level. Which is what? Christmas Fool's Day. It's a combination of Christmas and April Fool's. Or you give everyone prank gifts, like anti-gifts, you know. You give a gift that gets someone. Whoopee cushions, hand buzzers, icky poo in the shoe. I don't believe this. It's going to be the first ever just kidding Christmas. <laughs> Wait a minute. If Santa's not going, I am. I'm the eldest. So you stay out of the way. Office. Oh, Kristen! <laughs> You're back! What are you doing? Oh, I'm going to Hawaii for Christmas like everybody else. Uh, what do you think? Got a present from Rudolfa. But what about Christmas? Uh, Christmas doesn't need Santa. These worked out just fine, dear. Ooh. Perfect. Mother, you're <laughs> condoning this? Well, everyone needs a vacation. Your father's been doing this forever, literally. Santa has to deliver presents to those mm -hmm. who deserve. The world depends on it. All those children will wake up on Christmas morning with nothing under their tree. They'll be so disappointed they'll stop believing in their wishes. You think there's not enough goodness in the world now? Wait until the ones who deserve their gifts don't get them. A deal is a deal. Just because I couldn't get a couple of selfish, spoiled kids to behave doesn't mean the rest of the world has to suffer. Mm. Okay, we can't let Rudolfa do this. Just because she's older? And where is it written that just because... Uh, well, this is what is written. Do you remember this, dear? The special personage, Santa Claus, shall deliver to those whose goodness makes them deserving gifts on Christmas Eve. If he abdicates his duties, a successor who can perform all of Santa's tasks may ascend the post. If no one can be found, then the tradition will be no more. Wait, you mean Rudolfa can take over Christmas? No, Christmas isn't all milk and cookies. Face it, I have. Know what I mean? <laughs> Think about it anyway. A successor who can perform all of Santa's tasks. But Dad, nobody can do what you do. I have to catch a wave. Mom, isn't there anyone else who can take over for Santa? People do all kinds of things if they have to, dear. Aloha. guys. Wow. You look so good. So, you guys willing to give me a try? Giddy up. Come on, Cupid. Come on, Riddle. On Comet. Donner. Slow down, Rudolph. Get you. Uh, 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 
expected a little cooperation. Wait a minute, did Rudolph forget to you? Rudolph? No wonder they named her after you. do all that on Christmas Eve. He freezes time. I'm never going to be able to figure this out in time for Christmas. Time freezing. Theory and practice. Here by minute to minute, the time is locked. 30 minutes per minute on the time freeze clock. What are you reading? Oh, why? I... I don't know, really. I was going to take over for Santa this year, but I guess the truth is nobody can take his place. I was sure I could make the Morgans be a giving family just by showing them what it is to be giving. But I... I failed. I didn't know how hard... Not everything, Athithi. Not even for you. I don't know what to do. Well, there's only one thing to do. You don't have a choice. You have to make it work with the Morgans. That's impossible, too. Oh, I guess there won't be a Christmas this year. There has to be a Christmas. Then the only Christmas to be is Rodolphus Just Kidding Christmas. Oh, please don't let that happen. Oh, please, oh, please. You're right. I'm always right. That's why I haven't been able to find a man yet. Triumph starts with try. I have to try harder with the Morgans. No kidding. But how? They're tough. Christmas is not all milk and cookies. I have to be tough too, tougher than they are. <laughs> you tough? Oh, please. I've seen a lot, but I ain't seen that. Why do we have to go? Because. Your pair service is closed for the holidays, and I can't leave you here with your Uncle Johnny. He's worse than you two are. So, everybody comes with me. We're spending Christmas in a hotel? We're gonna be back by then, Brittany. You're gonna get your Christmas presents. That's what you care about, right, anyway? Okay, guys. Here's the drill. It's gonna take us about seven hours to get to the hotel. Now your Uncle Johnny will attempt to take care of you for one evening without all of us getting thrown out of the hotel before I can make the presentation with Harley. Okay? Everybody got that? Harley, hi, it's me. Yeah, we, uh, we got a late start. Yeah, we, I told you the old pair quit. Fly. <laughs> my kids have been banned by every major airline, so. Just get here and make sure you have the presentation. No, no, I, I've got the, the presentation. I've got the flip chart, the, uh, the the gift for Red Rock. Yeah, got it. Yeah, I'll be there. I miss you. Yeah, me too. Bye. Bill. Bill. Okay. Order up. Let's get back on the road. Maybe I'll just ask them to grind up a cheeseburger in a cup, and I'll drink it while we're moving. You know, Kyle, I I really don't need that right now. You don't need anything ever. Just don't start. Is that Kristen? Dad, where are you going? I'm gonna ask her to come back. No, Dad, no, she's crazy. Christmas crazy. Her whole name is Kristen Claus, like in Santa Claus. Dad, she's dangerous. Okay, so I won't give her any sharp objects. Order to go. Kristen. Hello, Bill. Whoa! <laughs> How's this for a coincidence, huh? You know, we, uh, we, we looked for you after you left and you kind of disappeared. I know. But here I am. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I've got that, 
that presentation in Seattle, and I had to bring Johnny and the kids with me. So, uh, well, so so the house would be there when I got back. Uh. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. This is a kind of crazy idea, but maybe you could come with us. You know, I, I, I'd get your hotel room, and you could help Johnny. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. Um, look, Kristen, it would really, really help me out. You know, I could concentrate on the meeting and not have to worry about what's going on at the hotel. And also, I really wanted to apologize to you about the way I spoke to you the last time we saw each other. I'm sorry. Okay. There's just something you should know. Yeah. With me and the children. It's not gonna be all milk and cookies. Yeah. Okay, yeah. What, whatever it takes. Thank you, there's, there's a lot at stake here. You have no idea. What? Uh, first of all, it wasn't my fault. Uh, second, we got a flat. What are you doing? I'm gonna call the auto club. Oh, come on, I can change this flat in five minutes. It'll take them an hour to get here. Wherever here is. You think you can? No problem. Okay. <laughs> I know what you two were doing. Meaning what? Meaning you were just pretending to have manners and act right for the presence. You didn't really mean it. So I want you to know I don't appreciate it. And something we used to have, we don't have anymore. A very precious thing. What? We already know what we're getting for Christmas. It's nothing like that. It's trust. It's a gift I gave you before. Now it's a gift you'll have to earn. Like we care. You might want to start. You might want to stop. You guys think you're tough, don't you? You've scared away all the others. Come on, Brittany. Okay, okay. No, Harley, I'm telling you, he fixed it. No, he really did. Now I gotta put this thing on and we'll be on our way, all right? Okay, bye. Put on the hubcap and I'll lower the jack. Don't hang no way! Oops. Oops. No, no. No, oops doesn't cover this one, Johnny. Please God, no, maybe. But not oops. Here you go. go among the mortals. Come with me. Okay. If anybody sees a gas station, you know. Gas station? We haven't seen anything for an hour. Yeah, and that's why I'm sure that something is probably just ahead, because how long can you go without seeing anything, right? Like a car, a phone booth. I'm sure we'll be fine.
nothing to it. What's next? Oh, just a few more things from my little bag of tricks. Now where are we going? Where are we gonna be there? Guys, it's just a detour. It's probably a shortcut. We'll be back on the highway soon. I hope. I think it's time we turn up the heat. Whatever you say, darling. Darling? Dunder, I know you can't think that you and me and you. I can't think when I'm around you. Your hands, your eyes, the way your mouth's always turned down. Oh, Wait, get out there and act like a deer. How does a deer act? Get out there! Okay. Is everybody all right? Huh? Everybody okay? Okay. You all right? The deer. I had to swerve to avoid the, the deer. Didn't you see? Did you see it? No. no. All right. Okay. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. Let's just get out of the car. Everybody, go. But go that way. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now take your time, sweetheart. Come on, you guys. It's okay. It's okay. Right. Uh. Oh man. Go, Dad. Great driving. Are we gonna die? No. No. Oh. We're not gonna die. Well. Looks like our work here is done. Here we go. We're gonna think of something else. Is that a house over there? I'm so cool. Yeah, let's just hope they have a phone. I gotta get to Seattle. You guys, come on, follow me. Way to go. You broke it, Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Okay, guys, come on in. Everybody, come on, be careful. Come on, Britt. You uh, wait here, okay, with your Uncle Johnny, please. We're gonna go scout there. Oh, and, um, and look for a phone, okay? I found. Let there be light. All right, everybody. Listen up. If we work together, we can help each other get through this. Is there anything to eat? I should have brought my other sweater. I should have brought my blender. That machine can do anything. I think we need to make some rules. Who made you king? Kyle, do you have any ideas? Anyone who wants to eat works. If you don't put in, you don't take out. We're getting takeout? No, no, we're not getting takeout. Now, we need volunteers to go to the car and get the bags and anything else that we might be able to use. Okay, I'm going. Okay, I'm going too. It's a bluff. Still gotta get to a business meeting. No wonder your kids are this way. What? Oh, what are you talking about? Maybe it's escaped your attention, but you have a few problems here. It's cold, there's no food, no transportation, and what are you worried about? Your business meeting. Yeah, Kristen, this meeting is important to the future of my family. You use that excuse so you won't have to confront the fact that your kids are out of control because you aren't home enough to be a father to them. Okay, look, I, I do the best I can. No. No, you hire the best you can to take care of them. You buy the best you can to amuse them. But where are you? At work. Kristen, my work is important to all of us. Being a dad is important for all of us. I'm cold.
I want you to know that you were right. About me. I didn't get my work. It's never too late for a father to be a dad. Yeah. Well, uh, let's get the bags. Here you go. Thanks. No, you know, if the kids want their bags, they know where they are. <sighs> hey, where's our stuff? It's right where you left it. <sighs> Let's make a fire. Who wants to help? I saw some more broken boards we could burn. Great, you get those. I'm gonna go check the basement and see if there's anything we can use there. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. good? Yeah. Seal's not broken. What do you think? I think it's good. Let's see. We'll be fine here tonight, and then tomorrow we'll find a way out. Mm. These are good. That's not very nice. Mm. There's a flashlight here. There's more preserves in the basement. That isn't very nice. You should be sharing. That's the nice thing to do. You know what we are sharing? We're sharing responsibility, and you're welcome to all the responsibility you want. <clears throat> I'm going to go look in the basement. I'm not going down there. Me neither. I have a feeling we're gonna be here a while. You guys are gonna get hungry. I'm gonna find something to eat. Don't know why they didn't bring up more. Maybe they're trying to teach us a lesson. Maybe we should learn it. Hey, look at this. What? You probably don't remember. Mom used to read it to us on Christmas Eve a long time ago. I remember. You were three. Five, and I have a good memory. What was it she used to say? You get all that you give. Yeah, you get all that you give. I don't know why Mom had to die. Me neither. You know something? Dad neither. Really? 
No. I asked him one time. He said he didn't know and went back to work. Do you think Mom watches over us? What do you mean? Like at dinner, at home. Kristen said, and thanks to those watching over us. I mean, do you think Mom sees what we're doing? I don't know. I've been thinking, if she does, I would want you to be proud of how we are. Remember I wrote to Santa a long time ago and asked him to bring back Mom? And you told me not to send it. Because it was stupid. Well, I didn't send it. But what if Santa kind of got it anyway? What if he sent his own daughter here for us? You know, Kristen. What? Kristen Claus. What if she's Christmas crazy because she really is Santa's daughter? No, that's crazy. What if she's Santa's answer to my letter? That's impossible. There's no Santa Claus. I don't know if there is or not. I know one thing. There is Kristen. Everyone's going to be waking up soon. I'm going to make them breakfast in bed. bed is served. Share the responsibility. Hey, Uncle Johnny, can you bring me down to the car to get my bags? Yeah, yeah, I was just thinking I'd like to do that. Dear Santa, first I want to say, you don't have to bring me anything. We're having an unusual Christmas this year. For one thing, I've decided to behave a lot better. And Dad is here. It's like the most we've seen him in years. It feels special and new. I think it's because Kristen's here. And suddenly we're at this old house where we don't have anything but each other. And that turns out to be everything we need. I just wish Kyle could see it. But I'm worried, because he's been acting bad for so long. He maybe doesn't know how to be good anymore. And the other reason I'm writing is to say that if I have one more Christmas wish this year, I'd want it to be that Kristen stays with us. I know Mom would want us to be happy with her. Somehow we feel like a family again. It's kind of like I remember it, except Kyle was with us. And it's such a good feeling, I don't want it to go away, even when Christmas is over. Is that all right? Could you check with Mom? Love, Brittany Morgan. P.S. Are you and Kristen related? If you don't show up to this meeting, then don't bother getting this message because we will have nothing to talk about. Do you understand me, Bill? It will be over if you aren't here, and I will take the meeting without you. Okay, so, who wants to help me decorate the Christmas tree? <laughs> mm.
for. Come on, Kyle. It's time for the angel. It's just like things used to be. No, it isn't. She isn't mom. She doesn't care about us. You're wrong, Kyle. She does care. She loves us. You're dreaming. She might like Dad, but she doesn't like us. Y you get what you give, Kyle. I'm telling you, she doesn't care. It's you who doesn't care about anyone, but your own self. Come back. He will when he's ready to. He won't go far. <laughs> well, that mom would have loved it. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, I have a surprise. Dad, Kristen, could you step outside for a second so we can get ready? Sure, sure. Okay. okay. All right. There he is. Kyle, come inside. It's it's too cold out here. You don't need me. Just leave me alone. Uh, maybe, maybe it's better if we just let him come on his own time. Yeah. You know, it's funny, Kristen. My, uh, my business deal is probably dead by now. Harley probably hates me. And none of it seems so important. You're talented. You'll have other meetings this year, other jobs. But you and your family will have this Christmas only once. It's like the snowflake. There will only ever be one. This Christmas is one of a kind. It's precious time, here for a moment and then gone, except for those who share it together. For them, the shared memory is a part of who they are forever after. You being with your children is the greatest gift you have to give. Just you. It's the one they've needed most. What is it about you? I mean, one day you just walk in my front door and... and the way that you see things... And the way that you make me see things that I know are true. But how I feel... Kristen, I never thought I'd feel that way again. Make me believe. Is, is something something wrong? No. Something is right. Snow reminds me of home. Where is that? Far away. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, there are things that I don't like to talk about either. No, it's... It's not that. Then what? Well... Do you believe in Santa Claus? I would if you told me to. What? 
I was just wondering what the Tooth Fairy would say about this. Okay, you guys can come in. Take your seats, please. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung on the chimney with care. In hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> <laughs> the children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. <laughs> <laughs> and Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's Fire. nap. Fire! Brittany, Brittany, let's, go. Come on. let's go, let's go, come with me. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry. Come on. I want to get mommy's angel. Where's Kyle? Where's Kyle? Kyle! Dad! Kyle! Where's Brittany? Locked. 30 minutes permitted on the time freeze clock. Dying. <gasps> I have to find a way to save him. There's so little time. Tooth Fairy, help. I don't know what to do. Um, okay, I, I, I remember something once. What? what? Eddie, anything. Okay, uh, the, uh, the immortals can trade their immortality for mortality just to save somebody from the brink. And that's what I'll do. You would give up your immortality? To help them out, give anything. That is so beautiful. Oh, please, just try and remember me. What are you talking about? Well, when you become mortal, you, you forget what all this was. No, no, I'll always remember. Oh. 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 What is this? It's Christmas Eve, and you lost. So now it's going to be a <laughs> just kidding Christmas. I'm ready, darling. Oh. Thunder, I'm sorry, but there's only room for one on this trip. You'll just have to take a snow shower. What is that? The lift! The Morgans are back on! Come on, girl! Oh, uh, 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 no, you still lose. It's too late. 
Dad's not home, and Christmas Eve is over. No, no it isn't. Not until the Christmas clock chimes. Everything will be all right. It's not Christmas Eve in Hawaii. There's still time. We can still have Christmas. You and Gibby, Kirsten. <laughs> and there's a lot to do, Rodolfo. Come with me, I have a special job for you. A special job? <laughs> Are we in time? Dad? I made sure we are. The question is... Kristen, are you sure? I know I love him. I love them all. Then you found the greatest of gifts. Did you know all this was gonna happen? Let's just say I have a talent for making sure the people who deserve get the gifts mm. that are best for them. <laughs> What do I do? Within every immortal is the gift of healing, which when given freely, makes a weak flame burn brightly. With your hand on his heart, the wish in your heart will come true. But I'll no longer be immortal. Will I still remember, Dad? If you believe, You'll find a way. You'll always be my daughter. Here. Yeah. A little present. Huh? Get everybody home for Christmas. <laughs> uh. I love you, Dad. Uh. Rudolfa! tell you how much I believe in Santa Claus? Father, is this really necessary? After all, my sleigh doesn't need to be pulled. Santa's sleigh may be damaged, the reindeers may have run off, I may have to use this contraption of yours this year, but I have to keep up at least a modicum of appearances. Did you forget the nose? Fine. Just wait till next year. Then let's be off. We have to make up time. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Dad. <laughs> Thank you.